Hey YouTube, hey Georgia Bigfoot here. Uh, quick new review about the brand new 2019 uh, Strike Force HD Pro X. And this is new for 2019, it just came out. I wanted to get the uh, Dark Ops HD Pro X, but they were sold out of it. So anyway, this is the Red Flash version. And similar to Strike Forces in the past, the HD Pro model, it has the adjustable uh, tilt bracket on the back, integral, which I like. You just loosen this up. And this can tilt up and down. On our lease, we also have cattle roaming, so whenever I mount this, I always make sure I tighten it down really tight. Anyway, as far as this new one is concerned, it says 0.22 second trigger speed, which is faster than last year's 0.4. I realize that's like shaving hairs there between 0.22 and 0.4, but still, it's an alleged increase in trigger speed. Uh, truthfully, I have a HD Pro X, or rather an HD Pro last year's model that I have for gate security, and the trigger's so fast at 100 feet, I don't know why I would possibly want it any faster. But anyway, uh, we're looking at 0.22 seconds, 120 foot adjustable nighttime IR illumination. It says 10,000 images on a set of batteries, time lapse mode plus. It shoots HD video at 900p, 1.5 inch color viewing screen. It looks great. I tell you, one of the things I liked most what Browning did last year too on these um, on these HD Pros is they made the capture delay gave it a minimum of one second, and that was just I think a huge um, performance positive for Browning when they did that because now they made uh, video images um, pretty much instantaneous. And I looked through the menu prompts on here, and that's sure enough that's what it has. It has a one second. Uh, capture delay minimum and of course, you know one second five seconds ten seconds thirty seconds one minute uh, two minutes and so on Anyway the case this is the red flash version It's real small. You can see it compared to the size of my fist It's got a threaded mount in the base Got the metal bracket The case is attractive I've learned that these browning cases do really well as far as color retention whenever they're in the shade or if they're like in a, a forest canopy but sometimes if they're way out in the sun they have a tendency to fade i'll show you that in here in just a moment i'm going to put this camera along a trail where you've seen quite a few of my other videos that i've posted online and it's right here where my browning uh, 2018 um recon force is this is the btc 7a this has been out one year, and you can tell the case is, is pretty faded. In the entire time I've owned Brownings, since the very first ones that came out in 2013, the only consistent, quote, issues I've ever had is that if the case is in exposed sunlight, like it is here in Texas, um, that the case can have some fading issues, which, if it's a big deal, I just usually come along and I'll paint it. You know, it's just either hand painted or I will cover over the flash array and then spray paint it. Make sure not touching any of the sensitive parts. We're gonna mount this HD Pro X right on top of the BTC 7A. I should say the BTC 7A shoots 1080p video and the video, when I, whenever I review these images, it's always on my 55 inch TV and they are just explosively amazing. They're so rich, they're so lifelike, I really think that this camera up till then in 2018 is the best the best photo best photography and video of any camera Browning's ever manufactured. So I'm excited <clears throat> to see how the HD Pro X uh, stands up to it. I realize that 900p and 1080 are a little bit different, but we'll see actually how it goes. I have this right now set for 10 second images. A one minute delay, video set to ultra. I'm gonna mount it right up here, overlooking this area, and we'll see what kind of video we get out of it. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.